to see where your energy is please do me a favor like share subscribe hit the bell notification there it goes to be notified when i post a new video remember red hearts you made it through purple hearts it resonates green hearts you're working on it yellow hearts you rock with me got my stick for me to have my back because i have yours i am not going to take these i'm going to take these because they came over we'll talk about these maybe i will okay there you have it um the cards that came out was time and choice so timing is everything and you have a choice choices to be stressed trust choices to be mad but this is based upon your priorities which is here let's read this card first priority said the quality of your life is determined by how you spend your time make sure um excuse me make sure your schedule reflects the life that you want so that could be a message for somebody to make sure that your life reflects the schedule that you want so um, what I've been doing lately is writing everything down, putting everything in my calendar, even though, excuse me, friends is here. I'll put this down here at the bottom. Friends are here. Surrender is here. Decisions, success, invitation, and change. So something about, um, something about a situation when it comes to time and choices, friends, and what you need to surrender to and a decision that you need to make is here so that is why these probably came out at the bottom and this is in order to be successful and there's invitations there so you can be getting invitations to um friends events you can get uh invitations when it comes to something that is not in place of the timing that um or that doesn't fall in the right timing or is not uh, a priority to you but at some point you have to make a decision on what 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 it is to be successful and to d surrender to the things and the choices that you make. That's kind of how I see that with this coming out the way that it has. I'm going to go ahead and pull, excuse me, I'll read the timing. It says time spent worrying is time spent. So this could be the universe telling you that you're not spending enough time enjoying yourself and uh, being, you know, because you're looking at things in regards to being successful, but there is change that you've made, but it also is changes that you have to make in order for you to understand what success is success can be when it comes to the things that you have on your plate you can spend a lot of time worrying or it says worry that yeah worry less about making the right choice and more about being strong enough to handle any outcome so no matter what this is how it seems to me you're not making decisions to go have fun because you have this certain thing that your goal that or the situation that you're trying to um accomplish and what you're doing is spending a lot of time um, being sad and worrying about the things that you cannot change. So the universe is letting you know that um, the, le the less worrying that you do when it comes to certain situations and the making the right decisions uh, will help you out in the, in the process of you um, dealing with certain things. So it says friend is here. It says be as, uh, as good a, a friend to yourself as you are to others. So, in the process of this, this is telling you that, you know, you spread yourself too thin when it comes to um, everybody else and what, you know, benefits them. So the universe is telling you to surrender, to be nice to yourself. Stop trying to control life. It gets in the way of the divine intervention. So time being here is just letting you know that the, you know, you're trying to control things that you have no control over. And so all you can do is just trust in the divine timing, see yourself doing that, whatever it is that you're trying to do, or see yourself accomplishing a goal. Because at some point, you've made a decision to change and to manifest different things into your life. And you being stagnant and stressing and staying in the house and worrying because, you know, you might not have the dollar amount, you might not have this, you might not have the right people around you, you might you know, just be worried about everything that comes your way. You know, the universe is telling you that there is going to be a decision that you have to make, but sometimes the best decision is no decision at all. So sometimes, again, the things that you cannot control um, does not mean you're not going to be successful. You cannot stay home worrying about the things and the choices and also, um, you know, the things, again, like you cannot control, so success. It says today is really good day. Today is a really good day. You're in the flow. Problems are solved quickly and easily. Helpful people show up for you and unexpected gifts fall into your lap. This is you putting it in the hand of divine. And sometimes the friends that come into your life, 
you're good too, but you need to be as good uh, to yourself as you are to them because of the fact that sometimes we pick the wrong uh, friends and in the process of picking the wrong friends, situationships, jobs, things like that, we turn around and we beat ourselves up and then we stay home and not pick any more friends. We just are stagnant when it comes to certain certain things. So you're going to be successful. You're going to learn from the things that you've done in the past, but you're not going to worry about it and you're going to go ahead and trust in the divine and trust in your intuition. You knew in the beginning when you chose this friend or when you saw that the, the people that were around you that just kept taking, 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 and, you know, every time you gave a, to a situation and every time you tried to help a person place thing you turned around and you realized that your energy was being taken for granted but you turned around and made yourself busy about um you turned around and made yourself busy when it came to everything that you knew so there's an invitation here the invitation is this calm love beauty kindness joy hope fun and adventure the invitations it says the words you speak are an invitation to life a request to bring energy into form choose your words carefully so when i say say what you want me what you say based upon the game of life and how to play it and the chakras and things like that speaking your mind you know that's why i always tell you at the end of that um to send strength and healing period with nothing else behind it because again no man is your enemy no man is your friend every man is your teacher this person place thing or situation is here to teach you a lesson so you have to be the change that you want to be and that's basically what the lesson is it's teaching you how to change how to set boundaries how to understand that you cannot worry about the things that you can't change the decisions that you need to make you've already made them you made them based upon past situations and again sometimes sometimes the best decision is no decision at all so sometimes you have to say no and sometimes you just have to say, um, you know what, I'm not going to make a decision. I just have to remove my energy slowly but surely and go from there. So change is here. It says a resistance to change is a resistance to life itself. Open your heart and mind to new beginnings. So that is what the universe is letting you know that, um, you know, sometimes changing is inevitable. Sometimes you have to change. Sometimes you don't. But sometimes change could be for the better. But making decisions and being worried about changing um, or being worried about a situation changing is something that you have no control of. And so, again, you have to be able to understand that whatever decisions that you decide to make comes with you um, um, having to let it go, let it go, let it flow, right? Let it go, let it flow, because basically everything that you're doing right now is for your betterment, but it's an invitation to open more doors for you, but not to worry about it. Because again, we cannot change or we cannot control the things um, that we have no control over. And that's people, places, situations, and events. You know, we have no control over them. The only thing we have control over is how we feel about the situation in present moment. Past energies cause, um, excuse me, the past causes um, fear and the future causes anxiety. So the present moment is the best way to be. And so that is kind of how I see that energy. I'm going to go ahead and pull from this deck. I don't know what the name of it is, so sorry about that. But this is like a farmy uh, type deck of somebody, you know, doing things when it comes to the farm. But it has meaning behind the cards. I like them, actually. Um, I like them uh, because it basically, yeah, eight of cups energy. You know, when you're three of wands, when you're looking to make a decision or to um, – uh, make choices uh, for your betterment or, um, you know, looking for growth, it tells you that, you know, just because it doesn't seem like it's something that you're able to do or the climate isn't right or, you know, people are telling a farmer, well, you shouldn't do this because this is not the right type of soil. You live in the desert. You're not going to ever be able to do this. Those things are things that you have to sometimes just know that what you want, go after them, eight of cups energy, and sometimes you have to walk away from the things that no longer serve you. And sometimes you have to make decisions for your best interest. So if this two of cups energy is about um, some type of union partnership or attraction, or it could be about, you know, new relationships, uh, situationships coming into play, you can't worry about what somebody else thinks. And the eight of cups energy is here. It's telling you to walk away from the things that no longer serve you. You know, you have to leave some things behind in order for you to make the choices that better serve you. And so that's just the decisions that you have to have. But you can't spend time worrying about 
the love that you never received or the relationship that did not work. You have to say, um, let me take the bits and pieces out of the things that work for me and let me move forward, if that makes sense. And so I'm going to go ahead and pull from, what is this? This is not the one I want to pull from. Uh, well, this is the hidden, uh, the heart's hidden secrets. I'm going to go ahead and pull from that to see what comes out um, and go from there. But yeah, you, you have, yeah, karma. So consequences, cause and effect, and debts. So again, you're not uh, dealing with anybody else's karma. That's not your energy. You can't worry about what's going to happen down the line. No karma is going to come to you because at the end of the day, you know you've done you've done right by everybody. You've done right by people, and at, um, you have to be able to understand that there has to be endings that bring new beginnings, and that's why you have to walk away and make those decisions. We have the perspective. You know, your perspective is that you were better off without this person. You had to clear your head. Um, twin flames energy, mirroring, sharing feelings and reflections. You had to reflect and have realizations that basically, and understand basically that there's sort of the awakening, which is going to cause you peace um, and happiness and harmonious energy at the end of the day because at some point it was an emotional storm so you're choosing to walk away from things that you know may not serve you or um that may not be working out or that you want it uh because of the death i never could say death the death of the awareness or the importance of a situation caused so many distractions and you to be sidetracked and that's basically what it is but Karma comes with the consequences of your actions, anybody's actions, which is justice. So therefore, when it comes to you worrying about the things that you may, you know, may happen or may not happen, you have to be able to move forward with these types of situations. And so sometimes it's easier said than done. But at the same time, you have to really understand and know that you've done everything you can, you could, and that, you know, the choices that you make here is not meant for you to worry over them. You have to learn the importance of certain situations and you have to understand that some things are basically um, affecting your health. Some things are affecting your health. So the invitations to, you know, new love situations, they're meant, you know, uh, staying in the house, dwelling over things, reflecting about things and having a realization. So reflection, twin flames and realizations in regards to the causes of other people or the actions of other people, you can't sit there and dwell over them or dwell over them or be unhappy because they chose to be a certain way because, you know, like Drika says, Kevin Gates' uh, wife, they're not hurting me, they're hurting themselves. And so they miss you more than you miss them. But the, the energy could be reciprocal. You might miss them. They might miss you, but at the same time, you have to be able to grow and understand, and they need to understand what life is like without you because they hurt you enough, and there's memories there. That'll never be the issue. There's memories of love, and if it's meant to be, it'll be meant to be. You can't lose nothing that's meant for you, and so that's what the universe is trying to get you to understand. No need to dwell over the things and that you can't change, and no need to yeah be embarrassed about certain things or it says work of workplace affair but this could be affairs anywhere but at some point sometimes new beginnings bring um excuse me endings bring new beginnings and sometimes it's too late to come back and to undo the things or undo the wrongs right my wrongs which is um Bryson Tiller song, you know, uh, it's too late to right your wrongs. And so sometimes you just have to know that basically you've done everything that you could in a situation. And the only thing else to do is to just work on you. And that's what you should have been doing in the first place. But that's the importance of learning lessons in life. You have to be able to understand that the cause and effects, the consequences of somebody's actions, justice type energy is causing you to do the right thing, which is something that you should have done in the, in the long run, if that makes sense. And so there will be many distractions there, many things when it comes to the unknown, which is tower energies, should I stay or should I go, tower energies, you know, so the unknown when it comes to unexpecting the unexpected or expecting the unexpected or an unknown event happening, you have to be able to understand that this is something that was meant. You know, you can't avoid things that's going to happen. You know, um, you have to have some type of change that's going to happen and the universe is going to force it. And so you have to be courageous, Ace of Wands energy, to be able to 
inspire yourself to do something different. This card tried to turn over, which is the Eight of Pentacles. And that inspires you to work on yourself and to know that you have choices back here, back to the choices will come, but you cannot worry about them. Eight of Pentacles, eight years, you've been worrying about a situation with no balance. And now it's time for you to have the, com the courage and the confidence to have balance in your life, temperance energy. So the temperance is you finding balance when it comes to your inner you know, your inner, working on your inner in order and also your outer at the same time. And, you know, that's the importance of having balance, again, harmony and great friendships and people that complete you and not deplete you, Ten of Wands energy. Because when you have a lot of burdens hold, hold, held over your head, Ten of Wands, you have to be able to say, you know what? I see the brighter picture. I see the bigger picture of what the universe is trying to tell me. When I go through something, I sit back and I... I pull my energy back, I sit back, and I say, what is the universe trying to teach me? What is it that I have to learn from this, this situation? And I'm thinking, I'm constantly thinking. I'm thinking, but I'm not worrying. I just know that at some point I have to move forward and go from there. And so that is kind of how I see that type of, type of energy. I have to move forward and I have to go from there. And easier said than done, but the Ten of Wands are burdens. Ten of Wands is just letting you know that sometimes you have to just sit still for a moment and rethink the situation. And that's you basically starting over um, when it comes to certain situations and not being able to be, not being able to, not, not, excuse me, not being afraid to be able to start over in mid eight, um, mid of a, a relationship eight years from now, um, you know, eight years after the fact, you know, but that's what it causes for you to learn. You're learning. You know, you're learning. And so, um, again, you just have to be the one to say, um, this is my responsibility. These are my burdens. These are the things that I put on me and I learned from it. And now, universe, what's next for me? Don't feel ashamed because the shame comes out there. There's going to be third party energies. There's going to be things that are going to be right there in your face, you know. And, and the only thing you can do is just say, you know what? I can manifest something different, and at the bottom of the deck is the King of Wands, yeah. So who the King of Wands is, is the King of Wands is somebody who can make decisions. The King of Wands is somebody who sees the bigger pictures that can come over, overcome challenges, but also when it comes to the star energy, being optimistic and being able to manifest something different. So that is the difference between you and them. You know the song, Dr. Dre, what's the difference between me and you? Well, that's the difference because you're able to overcome overcome challenges and you're able to see things and know that your priorities become, are, are, are excuse me, that your priorities are, um, are more important than anything else. And that's the realization that you have to have and seeing a different perspective of the storms, the tower moments, the, and that you have in the courage. And people don't understand how does cancer have the courage to be able to sit there and be distracted and knowing that all this stuff is in cancer's face, but I can still overcome adversity. And that is where I see this energy at. And so you being optimistic and understand that you have to have faith when it comes to the star energy and with the magician energy, you have the power to create. You have the power to create, but you are, you have faith and you're, you're, you have to be yourself at the same point. So the magician energy is being yourself at the same time. So you're not going to let anything stop you from manifesting. You just have to have the power of making the decisions and moving forward and knowing how to gracefully bow out, if that makes sense. And that's about ascending. That's about how you ascend in your life. You know, sometimes, you know, you just have to know that when it comes to these situations, you know, the, the best thing for you to do is just to move forward. And uh, sadness will be here. And there might be third-party energies, but you might be disappointed. You might be, um, you know, uh, regretting certain situation and, and being ashamed and unwelcoming, unwelcoming change. But at the same time, you're not going to be in a situation where there's any type of um, affairs going on, third-party energies, which is right here. And I'm going to look and see what's at the bottom of the deck, but let me move this over. You know, so your priorities are more important, and dating is here. There is more fish in the sea. You know that. That might not be something that you want to do, but this could be, you know, you being open and seeing, you know, what's out there for you or just feeling good and flirting when it comes to why you didn't get into this marriage, this situation, and why you walked away.
And that's the change that you have to see. You have to change your inner in order to change your outer. That's on one of these cards here somewhere. But that's what you have to do. And it's easier said than done. But again, you've done everything that you can. No more third parties. No more, you know, giving people a pass. This came out yesterday. I keep telling you guys I'm going to, uh, or the other day, I'm going to reshuffle these. So always do your best as the four agreements. If you want to know what my perspective of the four agreements are, I'll put the link up above. Um, it says love and nurture your body. It says your own body is a manifestation of God. And if you honor your body, everything will change for you. Practice giving love to every part of your body. This will plant seeds of love in your mind. And when they grow, you will love, honor, and respect your body immensely. So this is what learning about the past is about the consequences of your actions is about learning to respect and be open to loving yourself and not to worrying it says the kuzanite is the heart chakra you know it says unconditional love contemplation and introspection unconditional love contemplation and introspection it says i release outer influences and am filled with divine love so no matter the the consequences of somebody else's actions or the way that somebody else has treated you um and you need and change again being distracted because change is here right on top of each other so the distractions the change and the tower energy all is the same thing is you having a different perspective on what it is that you need because the delays and the being sidetracked the change and the distractions are what you um will steady think about and worry about until you see it in a different perspective what is this trying to teach me let's let this old energy go i love you guys I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys.